Hey guys, so welcome to our class, which is um, hindi siya yung kagaya ng usual na nasa classroom tayo. So, it's more or less, uh, it's due to the problem that we are trying to fix right now. So, I hope that even though hindi tayo nagkikita in the Medyo matagal din yung last time with me. I hope that you are all healthy, okay, and so with your family. Then, so, um, for this day, I will be giving you the topic for in you should be needed for you to do the project that is a uh, requirement for our subject. So apparently, the lawa yung we discuss natin for this day um, yung isa, parang ano lang siya, nadagdag lang natin kasi that would be very important topic for your next programming subject which is um, yung prog trino, which is for the next semester. Um, okay, so, let's start. So previously, we have already started the discussion about string in Java. So apparently, you are already quite familiar how to use string when it comes to Java programming. It's because even in your Java program one or programming one, you have already been using this particular um, class ng Java. So Technically, um, I have also mentioned before that string is not uh, included as data type in Java, but instead it's a uh, ibang uh, ano siya. It's because it belongs to a class or an object. So object is a C, uh, string. Okay, so to define string uh, briefly, string is the representation of sequence of character. So for us to better understand or represent what is a string, we often sometimes use characters uh, to be specific yung character array. So paano ba siya nagiging string or paano natin may re represent yung character array as a string. So basically, parang ganito lang yung ginagawa natin. So, let's say for example, we have a declare, uh, declared a variable wherein it's R, A, R, 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 which is an array. So, we declare it as a new R with uh, the element of 5. So you're quite familiar naman na on how you declare array. So apparently we're going to add a value on this. So array is equal to the first element, index 0, which is H. And then you have the following letter, which is E. And then you have also L. And the section I think you're going to draw in. And then you have also O. And then the closing base. So, Okay, so this is now a representation of a string in a way that is, uh, is stored inside uh, an array or character array. So you have here single characters, which is if you print it on your screen or in your monitor using uh, the print uh, function, ang lalabas doon would be hello. So, in our perception, that is already a form of a string. Kasi isang word lang yun, which is hello. 
So that's how array of characters uh, works. Now, um, eventually, sabi naman ng ibang uh, references that string or character arrays are not good enough to support the range of operation we want to perform for a string. Ibig sabihin kasi, mas limited yung pwede natin gawin when it comes to character array. Unlike if you're going to use the conventional string object which is present inside your Java compiler, mas magiging flexible yung magiging program natin. By the way, Java has two class object of string which is string and then the other one is string buffer. Or in Java, string is not considered to be a array of characters. And it's not terminated by a null. So, hindi siya not terminated by a null object. Okay, so normally we declare variable or we declare string like this. You have your string and then followed by the uh, identifier, which is, for example, you have your name. And then you initialize the value of the name, which is equal to new string three. Or right, string sorry. name, which is equals to um, Pedro. Hey. Which is equals to Pedro. Okay, and then you have another variable here or another string which you will call string name which string name one all right that's string name one and then the name would be also pedro Now, this is what happens inside the memory or kung paano ba na So, we, we call this one as literals, tama? So, you, you consider string as literals. And then we have, this is the memory allocation. Now, if we discuss or if we declare string literals, we are actually creating a string, string pole or string of poles. So inside this string of pool, dito na kay creator, dito natin nilalagay yung mga ina-assign natin kay string. So like for example, si Pedro. Now, if you happen to create two variables or two identifiers that are currently pointing to the same value, kapag ginawa natin sa ulit, for example, ito, it's already connected to the variable name. So, siya nakapoint na dyan. Ngayon, gumawa pa tayo ng isa pang identifier which is name1 which the value is equal to Pedro also. What will happen is that hindi na tayo gagawa ng bagong instance ng Pedro but instead, it would connect to the initial Pedro that is created inside your pool. Ibig sabihin, magkaiba sila ng, um, ng, ng identifier name. Kasi this is uh, one and this is name. But then the value, they are the same. At the same time, um, 
magkaiba sila ng heat code. Ibig sabihin, heat code yung code na binibigay per identifier so that if you're going to extract that one, yung heat code ang kinukuha natin. Okay, and then, paano kapag nag-create tayo ng bagong literals here? So, if you're going to create another string literal here or string value, we have string name two which is equal to one so apparently wala tayong one dun sa loob ng string pool so this is your string yan string pool natin yan so in this case Gagawa siya ngayon ng instance na one. So ngayon, ito, it would be pointed to me. Okay, so yan. So pag gumawa ka ulit ng isa pang uh, identifier that would have the value of one, it would point to the same heat code. So, heat code kung saan sila nakastore dun sa loob ng memory. Now, if yung isang way naman ang gagamitin natin, which is you're going to create for a new or you're going to use the new keyword. So, string. F name. So, sabihin na lang natin F name. Which is equal to new. And then, yung example a while back, which is string. Three. In this case, hindi siya masasama sa string pool na yan. Gagawa siya ng bagong string kasi nga gumawa tayo ng bagong object ng string. So it would be placed here. We're in later on if you're going to um, compare the values. Hindi mo makukuha yung values nito kasi magkaiba sila ng good code. Using the conventional uh, comparison which is gumagamit ng equal uh, equal sign or equal to. Okay? So we move on with the discussion. Okay, so sabi nga dyan, it's an object. So normally object in Java are created with the new keyword. So however, string object can be created with this key. So kagaya nung ginawa natin a while back. So this is the literal. Kaso nga lang, ang pagkakaiba nila, if it's uh, they don't belong with the same object or string pool. String of pools. String pool. String pool. Okay, the string classes. So we have already discussed this one that uh, string is inside the java.lam package, which is implicitly, hindi na natin siya dinedeclare or ini-import unlike uh, yung ginagawa natin when it comes to scanner. So, sa scanner, we do import uh, that Java, that IO, that asterisk. But when it comes to string, automatically, diga pag nag-create tayo ng record or nag-create tayo ng uh, program, automatically na naka-import na yun dun sa gagamitin natin. Okay, so string is immutable. Ano ba yung ibig sabihin niyan? Immutable kasi nga, hindi na babago yung value that is assigned to that particular string. So, kung for example, ang inilagay natin dun sa kanina, yung example natin, which is name, we place a value which is 1. Now, we try to change the value by means of um, concatenating the the name into another name. Just like pagkakasamain natin si Juan at si Pedro. Now, Java class or Java string class will not allow us to do that 
it's because hindi natin pwedeng alterin yung naka-assign na dun sa particular string na yun. That is why, ano siya, immutable siya. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya pwedeng magbago. In short, nagiging constant yung mga object na dinedeclare natin kapag automatically na naglalagay tayo ng value dun sa string. Mamaya, makikita natin yun dun sa mga example na gagawin natin. Okay? So, for mutable string, pwede tayong gumamit ng string buffer. So, ibig sabihin, kapag gusto natin baguhin yung content ng particular uh, data dun sa loob ng string, pwede tayong gumamit ng string buffer. Okay, so, na-discuss na, na rin natin yung dalawang or yung mga iba't ibang ways how to get uh, values from the uh, from the user or input galing sa keyboard. So, one of which is yung buffer reader. And then the other one is yung mas common na ginagamit nyo is scanner. So, we will be uh, skipping this lesson kasi natapos nyo naman at ginagamit na naman na natin. Okay, so string concatenation. <coughs> so, string concatenation, this usually occurs kapag kailangan nating pagsamahin yung dalawang mean. Just like this. So you might be asking, sir, ha, bakit sabi mo kanina immutable siya? So immutable si ano, si the string if you're going to use a particular function that is for string, just like uh, concatenation. Actually, merong concatenation na function string, but in this example, we are currently using yung conventional na ginagamit natin sa pag print out ng output. We are in, meron tayong uh, print ln, then inside the print ln, you have your double code, and then the variable name plus uh, the string and then string constant and then plus the variable. So parang ganun. That's, that's one way of doing the concatenation. Okay, so we have also discussed this before, the string array. So array of string can also be created. So pwede rin tayong gumawa ng string arrays. So in our example, cities. Okay, so cities. So, string cities. Is equal to Oh, maybe I have a diet. So, then I have to say equal to mm -hmm. Okay, so your cities would be equal to so nasa loob siya ng uh, braces or brackets so you have lawag bata Legal. And good. And San Fernando. Or SF. Or na lang. Para magkasa. Okay, so this is now a uh, character of uh, string array. So array yung string yun. So pwede tayo maglagay ng ganyan. So similar thing din na pag-create pag natin ng array. So string methods. 
So we have also discussed this before. We have also discussed or started discussing the different methodologies or methods that is used by string. So you have here length. So usually yung length ginagamit siya for getting the number of uh, characters. So let's say for example, we have here string which is or which is the value is equal to hello. And then you have to get the number of characters for this. So we declared uh, an integer which is count, which is equal to greetings dot length, open and close parentheses, and then it should be uh, terminated by semicolon. So this function now will count the number of characters inside this particular variable, and then eventually it will be stored in your variable count and it would be printed as output. Now, malaking bagay yung alam mo kung ilang number of uh, length or il ilan yung length ng string mo para in case na gamitin mo siya for looping statement, pwede mong ma-set ito as the uh, termination or kung saan magka-terminate yung condition. So, always count from zeros when referring to the number of position of the index. So, ibig sabihin nito, the number of counts would be, or the number of, uh, the length would be equal to 5, but the indexing would be n minus 1. Ibig sabihin, 5 minus 1, ang pinaka-maximum index na magagamit natin here would be 4. So, that would be used if you're going to get the value per character index. So, magi start lagi tayo sa zero. So, this this one would be zero, one, two, three, and four. So, that's how you get the character per index. So, this is how, or I think illustration ng sinasabi ko a while back. So, you have here the string Zaba is fun, wherein uh, meron siyang ilang characters. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Bakit kulang? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, 12. So, tama. 12. Kaya siya 11, it's because he started at 0. So, yung index 0 natin would be letter J. So, that is all in all, the length would be equivalent to 12, but the highest maximum uh, index here would be 11. So, nagma minus 1 tayo. Okay, so we have here uh, another um, method which is equal. So, mamaya meron na example ni papakita sa inyo with regards to equal. So, this is used to um, compare to string whether they are equal. So parang parang sa mathematics lang din yan or dun sa mga numbers sa pag 2 is equal to 2. Tama or mali. So literally this particular function will uh, give us an output na true or false ang sagot. So note that case matter case matter Ibig sabihin, ano siya, uh, case-sensitive si Zaba. So, familiar naman kayo. But, ibig sabihin yan is ganito lang yan. So, in short, si capital letter A is not equal to lowercase A. Okay? So, ganun lang yung ibig sabihin yan. So, ibig sabihin kapag yung hello na sinulat mo sa capital letter H is not equal to hello na nakasulat sa lower case yung H. Okay? So, yun lang yung ibig sabihin mo. So, take note of that one if you're using equal. Okay? So, meron pa tayong mga iba pang function here. 
Naglipat-lipat lang natin eh. Kaya hindi natin mabasa. Okay, so we have also another function here which is called um, equal ignore case. So ito naman, it will also return um, Boolean values, but uh, it will ignore the current state of your, or the current case of your string. Ibig sabihin, yung kanina na capital letter A is not equal to lowercase a, naware revoke na yun. Ibig sabihin, hindi na yun uh, ino-honor ngayon ng compiler. It's because of this function. So, whether you write the string by lowercase and then you're going to compare it with all upper case ng word na yun, it would be treated as the same. Ibig sabihin, true ang lalabas doon. Okay, we have other function here like to lowercase. So this, this would return a character or string or object string into lowercase uh, output. Ibig sabihin kapag yung in-input natin is naka-uppercase lahat. So, ibig sabihin yan ganito. So, nag-enter ka ng ganyan. Uppercase lahat. Inadaan natin dun sa function na yun. So, this is string or str equal to so, pinadaan natin si str that to lower case. So, ang lalabas dyan is would be this. So, yun siya. Co-convert niya yan sa lower case. Okay, so here is an example or other example. So the string greetings, hi Mary. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung letter H at saka yung letter M is saka uppercase and then eventually nung pinadaan siya sa function na that lowercase, it was converted into a lowercase then. Okay, kabaliktaran naman siya ni to uppercase. So it will return the characters, the same characters, as the calling uh, object string, but all the letters would be converted to uppercase. So, ibig sabihin yung capital letter H and I in high Mary, uh, capital letter H and M dun sa high Mary, kapag pinadaan natin siya dun sa uppercase function, it would convert the word in that, ay, the letter in that word to be uppercase lahat. So, nagiging uppercase na siya na ganyan. Okay. Then we have also another one which is one of the important aspect of string. Kapag alam mong gamitin ito, malaking bagay yung nagagawa nito. So this is called trim. So which is a function that returns the same characters of the calling object string but with the leading and trailing white spaces are removed. White spaces character are characters that print as white spaces on the peripheral such as Black spaces on character, yung tab characters, yung new line characters. So, yung mga extra um, spaces na ginagawa or lumalabas dun sa mga output natin, inaalis na yun ng trim. So, siya yung nag-aalis yun. For example, we have here at least mga siguro dalawa or tatlong space yung, yung uh, ano nito. Then, it would uh, be trim by the function, eh, ang lalabas na output is wala na yung mga space dun sa magkabilang dulo ng string. Okay, we have also car at. So, yun. Yung sinasabi ko kanina that you can get a specific letter from uh, string. So, it will return the character in the calling object string at the position. So, position are counted from 0, 1, 2, and infinity. 
So, kung ilan yung number of characters na present dun sa loob ng ng uh, string uh, string na yun, so yun yung magiging number of index. So, kagaya nung sinabi natin kanina, the index starts at zero. So, if you're going to get the value of that particular character, which is uh, the first index, which is index zero, here we have an example na string which is hello. So, ang kumakukuha mong value would be h. So, if you're going to get the index one, ang makukuha mong value would be e. Okay? So, ganun lang yun. And then, we have also uh, another function which is substring. So, returns the substring value uh, wherein meron siyang nakalagay na parameter. By the way, this is called parameter. Now, uh, later on, we'll be discussing another topic which is method. Wherein mapag-aaralan natin doon kung ano ba yung parameter. So, parameters sometimes are values that are being passed to a certain method wherein yun yung ginagamit for particular computation or conversion. So, sometimes, method or or yung mga function sometimes required a parameter sometimes hindi it would depend kung paano mo siya gagawin or kung paano mo siya i-declare okay so eto ang parameter natin dito would be the start so start to the end of the calling object so position are same 0 to 1 pa rin 0 1 2 2 uh, etc be, be sure to notice that the character the position of the start is include, included in the value to be returned. So, for example, for example, we have here a string which is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now, we're going to get the sample that substring with the index of 2. So, ang lalabas na output would be C, D, E, F, G. G. Bakit yun ang lumabas? Kasi we disregarded the two na, uh, two characters wherein these are 0 and 1. So we are starting to get the value from 2 hanggang dun sa dulo ng string which is G. So the output of that one would be this. C, F, uh, C D, F, G. Okay? So that's the start. Now, meron pa tayong isang substring wherein ang, ang parameter naman is start at saka end. So, kanina nagamit na natin yung start. Now, lalagyan naman natin siya ng end para ma, uh, ma-set natin ng tama or ma-gauge natin yung exactong word na kukunin natin. So, we have the similar example. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then we have the same function, kaso nga lang, meron na tayong dalawang uh, parameter na uh, integer. So, this is the start. So, 2. So, count tayo. 0, 1, 2. And then, the ending character or ending substring would be 5. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, that's F. So, in this case, si F hindi na siya isasama. So, unlike nung dun sa start, wherein uh, si start, isinama, isinasama yung first value dun sa counting, which is the index 2. Dito, sa end, it would not be included. So, ang may include lang uh, are the characters na nasa right side niya. So, yung mga characters that uh, before him or before that particular index, yun lang yung lalabas. In this case, ang lumabas is CDE. Okay? So that's substring start and end. Now, we have also another function which is index of. So index of, uh, it is the occurrence of the first string in the uh, calling object string, the position is also from 0 to uh, infinity. So it will return uh, negative 1 if the string is found. 
Now, if, if uh, hindi sa makita, nagiging negative 1 yung output. So, what will happen is parang ilolocate niya kung saan index makikita yung uh, yung word na tinype natin. So, we have here an example. Uh, greetings. Hi, Mary. And then we have to get the index of the word Mary. So, ahanapin niya ngayon yung index niya. So, in this case, you have 0, 1, 2, 3. So, ang re-return niyang value would be 3. Now, meron pa tayo isang example. Sali naman yung tinipe. So, in this case, wala naman siyang saling makita. So, ang ni-return would be negative 1. Okay, we have also uh, another uh, method na uh, index of. So, index of. So, first occurrence pa rin ng character or a string na yun. And then, yun yung, uh, yung start naman is the occurrence of the, the after position. So, if uh, same pa rin, kapag wala siyang makitang index na ganun, it would still return a negative 1. So, here we have an example, Mary, Mary, quite contrary. So, ang, ang, ang hinahanap natin is uh, the, the word Mary on the first uh, first instance nung ano niya, or this is the index kung saan natin siya hanapin. Okay? So, it would return 6. So, 6 ang i-return niya. It's because we are currently getting the this one. So, ito na yung pinakuha natin. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this is now the value that would be uh, binabalik natin, this Mary. Yung pangalawang Mary. Okay? So, the same value is returned if 1 is replaced by any numbers up to and including 6. So, kapag yung 0 ang hinahanap natin, or dun sa mismong uh, index 0, it would tell that this is the index. So, ibig, uh, remember that we're referring to the index. So, here you have index 0 for the first Mary. And then the index of the second Mary would be at the 6. And then meron pa tayong 3 na isa, which is Mary. And then the index is 8. So ang binalik na value is um, 1 or negative 1. Okay, and then we have also last index of. So last index of. It would also return the index occurrence or the last occurrence of a particular string. So here we have a program wherein the value is Mary, 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 so quiet. So saan or index of? Yung index of ng Mary na una would be zero. Now kung saan yung last index of ni Mary is nasa 12. So, bakit sa 12? Kasi 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Ito yung last index wherein Mary is found. Okay? So, yun yung last index. Last index siya kasi ano pa rin yan eh? Yung, yung first character nung string pa rin yung tinitignan natin. Okay? Okay, so ganyan na lang muna para hindi kayo makonfused. Okay? So next. So another string method is called compare. So halos parehas lang sila ng equal but then compare is mas uh, complex yung, yung pagkakagawa niya. And then at the same time, mas 
it's mas uh, logical. Okay. So compare, compare to. Compares the calling object string and the string argument to see which comes first in the lexicographic ordering. Lexicographic ordering is the same as the alphabetical order, but with the characters ordered as in. Note that appendix T, appendix T is the upper. In the appendix T, all the uppercase letters are regular alphabetical order and the lowercase are in alphabetical order. But all the uppercase letter preceded all the lowercase letter. So lexically, uh, lexicographic order is the same as alphabetical order provided that the same both string either all characters all characters are all uppercase. So here, a requirement is dapat kung ano yung string natin, whether uh, if it's uh, uppercase, dapat ang makukuha mo rin is naka-uppercase din siya. So we have here an example. Uh, entry is, is equal to adventure. So entry compared to... Um, a word su, so it would refer negative. Bakit? Kasi wala naman siyang makikitang similarity or magkaparehas yung zu at saka si adventure. Now, we compared uh, compare to adre, uh, adventure, it will return to zero. Ibig sabihin, parehas sila. Or nakita niya yan. So that's uh, equal to zero. Now, we have another example which is above. So, it could return a positive number. So, bakit ganun? So, tignan natin yung definition ulit. So, so, lexicographic ordering is the same as alphabetical ordering provided that string are either all uppercase letter or both string are lowercase letter. So, if the string is first, if the calling string First, it returns a negative value. If the two strings are equal, it returns zero. If the argument is first, it returns a positive number. Ah, okay. Negative ito kasi si letter Z comes after letter A. Equal sign siya, it's because magkapareha sila. Positive number ang above, it's because AB comes before AD. Okay? So, yun yung ibig sabihin niya. Okay, we have also compared to ignore case. So, di ba kanina meron yata tayong ano, um, equal, kaya balikan natin. Ah, Ayan, equal is ignore case. So, meron din tayong compare to ignore case. So, compare to ignore case, it will uh, treat lexical, uh, lexicographic ordering, treating uppercase and lowercase to be the same. So, same as to lang yun. To be precise, all, all uppercase letters are treated as if they are a lowercase version doing the comparison. Thus, if both string consists of entirely letters, the comparison is ordinarily the alphabetical order. If the calling string is first, it returns negative value. If the calling uh, string would be uh, equal, ignoring the case, it would return zero. If the argument is first, it returns positive value. So similar lang din dun sa uh, kanina. Okay, so that's those are the functions that um, we need or are used by string. Although, madami pa yun, madami pang iba't ibang functions na ginagamit. But, technically, yun yung mga common. Okay, so we go now to our NetBeams. Ba't nawawala yung NetBeams? Okay. 